what's up you guys so whew, here's the tea <laughs> um today is november 5th well the day that i'm recording this right now um i don't know when this video is actually gonna get up hopefully i'll get it up in the next day or two um well you'll know <laughs> um and well this last weekend that we had so november 1st 2nd 3rd um well, I had woken up November 2nd, and <laughs> I woke up lazy, I, whatever, normal morning, went downstairs, was cool. Um, I live with my dad, this is my dad's house, da da da, but my uncle moved in with us about over a year ago, and apparently he was working on some lady or whatever that works with him at his work. He was like working like on her vehicle or whatever. Did I say working on some lady? <laughs> Oops. Um, and so, apparently, like, I when I came downstairs, there was, like, this random lady here with, like, her kids, and it was, yeah. And so, when I had gone back upstairs, my cousins, because they come over every weekend, or for the most part that they do, well, only one of them came over, um, this time. And, basically, we were kind of like, oh, we don't want to look, like, too fucking fugly in the morning like i don't know these people she kind of knows kind of knows who it is just we wanted to like look a little better than looking all hit and shit like that so we just kind of did a little like basic ass makeup so i literally just kind of put on a little like uh makeup nothing to like whatever i don't even why i know i'm getting into all that shit okay anyway so i kind of like brushed my hair out a little bit well after i brushed my hair out and i went downstairs and i was pouring myself a bowl of cereal i had noticed that my head started itching like really fucking bad and i was like wow like what the fuck like why am i so itchy and it it just started itching and like the back of my neck and my whole scalp was just really itchy <sighs> i overthink everything and well when i it was itching so bad and it wouldn't like go away that i thought i had l-i-c-e <laughs> um i have had that before when i was like 14 years old but I was like thinking about it and I'm like there's no way in hell that I have that like why would I have that like I'm not around anybody like I stay home all day every day like I only get out pretty much like twice a week when I actually have to go to like my online school thing and so like I, I was just like overthinking everything and like but then I was like wow like no I'm really fucking itchy but then I kept, like, freaking out, like, and then I was trying to eat my bowl of cereal, and I couldn't even eat because I was so itchy, and I felt gross, and it was too early for me to eat, so I dumped out my bowl of cereal, and then I went upstairs, and then I noticed, like, my neck was, like, red and, like, blotchy, so that's when I was like, this is not normal, um, and then I thought, okay, are these fucking bug bites, like, uh, what the hell is happening to me right now so my dad he doesn't really fucking care he was like whatever like okay cool like, you're all like, whatever so i called my aunt because my mom wasn't answering her phone so i called my aunt and i was like tell me this is not what i think it is and she was like no <laughs> but she was like it looks like an allergic reaction so that's what i'm like great really <laughs> i mean at least it's not what i think it was so like now if you see me and i'm itching my head it's not what i thought it was i do not have lice um i just am still trying to recover from the really bad allerg allergic reaction that i had um so anyways that day i was freaking out and i'm thinking okay so she was like okay go take some benadryl go put like some cortisone cream like if you have any of it like on your spots and stuff and it's just, I was itching so bad, like, it just felt like it was all burning, and I was itching and itching and itching, and she was like, stop itching, and I'm like, I can't. I take Benadryl, I'm on the phone with her for a while, and da-da-da, and the only thing Benadryl did, honestly, was it, pretty much for the majority of the itching, it went away, but the redness did not, um, and then it just made me tired, so I ended up passing out about 4 o'clock, didn't wake up until maybe, like, about 7.20, um, and when I had woke up, I had noticed I had, like, three, um, dots, like, red dots on my elbow that were not there previous before I had fallen asleep. And, um, so that's when I was like, um, okay, pretty sure, uh, if it was an allergic reaction and I took Benadryl, like, wouldn't, wouldn't I be getting better, not worse, and spreading? So I called my aunt and she's like, wow, that's, like, weird, you know? 
And then, so then later on that night, and I didn't think too much about on it, like, I took more Benadryl. Um, I took two, two more, so, like, four of total within that day. Um, and then later that night, I was, like, in bed, curled up, and next thing I know, I moved my finger, and it was swollen. I could feel it was numb and swollen, so I look at it. Oh, my God. So, yeah, as you can see, like... <laughs> my finger was holy shit out to here and I was freaking out because I'm like why the fuck am I getting swollen now and then I kept looking and then I had like red starting in my eyes and then I had red right here and that was starting to get puffy and swollen my finger was fucked and like that's when i was like okay and then this just became one giant ass fucking mess on my arm a fucking redness um and then and then i so i didn't take any more because i was like i already took enough benadryl i think so i just tried going to bed and like seeing like if it just is being stupid right now and it'll go away um when i woke up in the morning this arm had redness all over it. Like, this, like, the red dots were still there not until the morning. The morning is when, like, it became one whole, like, giant thing. And my um, elbow started getting a little more swollen. Um, and then this ended up having a huge ring of red around it. And then I had, like, another, like, thing, like, up here that was red. And it kind of looked like ringworm. It wasn't ringworm, but it looked uh, like it. Like, it was, like, a ring of, like, red. Um, and that one really kind of scared me because then I was like, do I have ringworm? What the hell? Like, what is going on with me? And then, sorry, so I still kind of itch in these places a little bit. Like, the redness is gone. The swelling is, like, done. Like, my fingers aren't fucked no more. Um, but, like, I still, my body still kind of, like, itches and stuff. So, that's when I, Sunday morning, I ended up getting back up. And, um, I had, like, talked to my mom. And that's when I was like, Mom, like, it's worse. Because when I woke up the next morning and I got on the phone with my aunt, my fingers, like... These two were completely fucking swollen. Um, this was kind of swollen more like down in here. This whole finger was swollen. And I could feel it like stretching into my third. Um, I had big red dots like all over or like a huge blob right here. It was awful and I couldn't feel my fingers and I couldn't grab things and they were sore and I was like, oh my god. And so finally, my dad doesn't take shit serious and he just thinks, oh whatever, like I have another allergic reaction, you're fine. So... My aunt was like, you need to call your mom. So I tried calling my mom. She did answer right away. And um, then I was like, mom, like, look at this. Like, look what is happening to me right now. And she was like, okay, well, I just got home from work. Um, and then she lives like about 10 minutes away from me. So she got home from work and then she ended up getting ready. And she came and got me and brought me to the ER, the, ER, the med center. Is that like the same thing? I don't really know. But she brought me to like the med center, um, urgent care and then so we were there and we were waited for like 45 minutes and I was freaking out and I'm like oh my god and I had my eyes were kind of like puffy and even though my eyes didn't look the worst wherever there was a red excuse me um it was puffy and swollen <sighs> yeah so that's what was happening and when I got in there and the doctor and um the only three the, there was three new things that um had been new within like the net, the last week week and a half and it had been this shampoo um these pills they're called good girl probiotics they're kind of to help like um uh, balance out your hp levels since like i my mom just has a hard time doing that um and then there was this new pillowcase like that i put over my pillow um, which I don't think so much it's the probiotics, but I'm stopping those because, like, you never know, it is something that was new. Um, I am leaning a lot more on that it was the shampoo than anything because it's, like, a lot higher quality shampoo. My aunt had given it to me, um, uh, because, like, I have colored my hair, my hair was damaged, and that shampoo, though, made my hair, like, yes, like the shampoo and conditioner, but... Obviously, if that's what caused my allergic reaction, I can no longer use it. So, I'm not using that. My dad, actually, he didn't want me touching it. Um, and so, like, now that stuff is bagged up and it's, like, on my floor down there. Um, and then, because I didn't think about it at first, but then when I realized, oh my god, um, my pillowcase is something new. And just in case, for whatever the hell reason, that pillowcase was a cause of something, I took that off because it is in my head. And it all started with my head and then started going down my body 
Um, and actually it got to the point where like my knees started itching and my knees started like swelling. It seemed like it wanted to go to more of like the bonier parts of my body, like my elbows, like more of my fingers and then my knees. Um, and it was like still like on my ears and my, all my neck and oh God. Um, and so when we got there, um, he ended up saying that it was a systemic allergic reaction, which, which means that it went straight to my bloodstream. So it was just going to get worse and worse and worse until I actually went to go see someone. And he was like, well, good thing you went earlier. Otherwise your whole body would have been like, like a damn balloon. And I'm like, that's great. <laughs> um, and so I take now prednisone, pre prednisone, awful at names. Um, originally he said that he wanted me to take 20 milligrams once a day for 10 days um but then when i like what the thing actually said it was like oh 20 well yeah take 220 milligrams so technically 40 within 10 days like 40 a day like in 10 days if that makes sense but when we got there then my uh pharmacist guy he was all like oh well we don't have 20 so take 10 but he was or we don't have 20 milligrams, but we have 10, so you need to take four. And that's where then I got confused because my guy only originally basically was saying to take 20, but he was saying to take four, 10, which is 40, because usually what the original one said to do was, you know, take 40, like y'all are catching on. Um, so then that's, he was like, no, 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 like, listen to me. Like, he's like, just, you can take all four at once, or you can take two in the morning, two at night, and da, da, da. So today is my third day taking these so and because it's in my bloodstream and stuff like that um i still do get itchy um the red spots and like my swelling is obviously not there no more thank god i still now and then sometimes feel like there i do spot some red spots and stuff like that but like i said it's in my bloodstream and it's gonna take a while so today is only my third day so i have to take four tablets by mouth daily for 10 days and today is only day three and i haven't taken them yet because i have to take food with them um otherwise it's really gonna upset my stomach and i've never taken these before so i'm not trying to see how that makes me feel gross um but yeah so that's my little update that i had this past weekend really shitty still trying to like heal from it no it's not like it's contagious obviously like it's uh just an allergic reaction that I had to something really bad or I had a bad allergic reaction to it so if you see me itching my head and my neck and stuff it's still because I'm still more itchy in this area than more so other places um I am putting this stuff which is Rexol, 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 whatever the fuck <laughs> clear anti-itch lotion which by the way when you put this stuff on I think it does work for the most part after a while but like this lotion is like sticky and it feels so gross when you put it on but I have my fan and so like when I have it on my body and stuff like literally like I'll strip down naked and I'll like lather myself up in this stuff sit from my fan kind of turn a little bit oop, until it like dries and I'm good to go and it soaks into your skin and then you can't even feel it no it's there so then my skin just feels soft um but that is what i've been doing okay and now i just want to put this in here um because i mentioned it when i did my jeffree star uh star concealer or whatever that magic star concealer that i was gonna do a get ready with me like on it and i still plan on doing that just i don't know when um, but just so I can add it in this video, this is what I do. So, it's a doe foot applicator. I pretty much take it out. Now, this is $22.30, 30, um, because I have tax shipping and all that crap. Um, and so I pretty much, I start with my eyes. I take it, swipe it, swipe it. This is actually one of my messier times. <laughs> this is real thick. So, I swipe it, swipe it. I do my forehead. I do my chin. I do the sides right here. And then I take a little bit on the nose. And then I swipe a little bit, like, right there. I just added more <laughs> um and that's literally that was all within just one like there was no double dip no nothing it has really good like with doing full uh coverage and stuff like that and i love it so i'm actually going to blend this like i'll do it all fast and stuff like that but i'm actually gonna blend this and show you guys how i do it um on camera i already have foundation on i didn't want to put like an extreme amount on um but yeah so this is where i place my concealer and this is what i do
that is pretty much it. So I usually end up always doing the eyes like last. Um, I just kind of work my way up and then eyes last. And I just love it because it just brightens everything up. It's really good. Um, I think it just like works a lot better and it's like the best um, concealer like I've ever like really tried. I feel like all the other concealers I've really tried just didn't work the same, didn't cover the same. Um, and I have nothing, there's nothing wrong with CoverGirl, like, I mean, I like foundation high, like, that's what I've been using. Oh. Um, but for some reason, I tried a CoverGirl, um, I already threw it away, so I can't, like, actually show you guys. But I had used a CoverGirl concealer, for whatever reason, it did not like my skin, it kind of, like, burned it, didn't really make it feel too good, so, like, I didn't, like, use it, um, but yeah, so, okay, I will get my eyebrows on, um, get my face baked in the areas that I need. Oh, and yeah, so the areas, I take then this sponge and I take my loose translucent, my loose translucent powder and I kind of shake it either in the cap or if there's like enough already on top, I put it in. And literally in all the areas that I just had my concealer on is where I bake my face. So... I will get eyebrows on and then, well, actually, I, I bake my face. I try and bake it as soon as I have my concealer on. So I bake and then I do my eyebrows and then I will be back with you guys. So, see you in a second. Okay, so now I am back. Got some eyebrows on. My face is baked in those areas. It doesn't seem like it has powder on some of the areas. Like it is on my nose. It is right here. It is on my forehead, cheeks. Everywhere where I had put concealer is where I have put... <sighs> Uh, that translucent powder to really set it in there um and I actually used to like just put powder all over my face but you know what you learn new things you do different things and it's just I don't know you grow with your makeup um and I um actually out of me and my two other sisters so us three girls um Sam Jess and me um I'm the one I'm the youngest and so I'm actually the one who taught myself how to do makeup. I wasn't allowed to wear it until I was like 14. And I play with makeup all the time. I still teach myself till this day. You know, like doing makeup isn't something that you're just, oh, born with knowing how to do. No, like you really gotta practice and put yourself into it. And so like I get super excited when people um, actually ask me to do their makeup or they allow me to do it, especially my sister Sam. She used to let me, you know, play around with her makeup all the time. She used to let me do her wings, like, even when I was first learning how to do wings, like, she was confident enough and letting me do it, um, when she would have to go to work, and which that really helped. I would have, you know, people ask me to do their makeup for prom or homecoming, and that's, wow, that means, like, I know I'm doing a good job, and well, that's a good thing because I love makeup and people be like, girl, why the hell are you putting makeup on on a Saturday when you ain't going anywhere? And it's like, you know what? That's the perfect time to do your makeup because if you are super bored and you, got, don't, you don't have anything to do, like, do your makeup. But, like, of course, like, I have a passion for makeup, so it's easier for me to want to do makeup. Not saying, like, oh, that I can't do makeup or that I don't, you know, um, like, oh, yes, I want to do makeup every day. No, like, nothing like that, but, um, because makeup is a passion for me. It's something that I strongly want to get better at, and I still want to get better at, um, is that practicing and stuff, it's just, and I, I know that I will probably never get, like, ooh, like, you know, Nikki Tutorials or James Charles, nothing like that crazy, but I think I'm more than just on a basic level of makeup. I think I really sometimes surprise myself. But anyways, so this is done. I did quick brows so if they look a little hit. <laughs> you know why, and I have to, um, I have to go back in soon and pluck, but not today. Um, okay, so we are going to be doing, obviously, the $40 palette versus a $10 palette. Now, my $40 palette is my Glam Light Pizza Palette, 18 delicious toppings. Um, and this palette has actually fallen apart on me a lot because it's all just cardboard, which really sucks. And when I went to Blessing of the Bikes back in May, um, this palette... Um, have really fallen apart and taken a hit being in the side, like, bag, the saddle bag. Um, so, and not only, but I have a lot of nail marks <laughs> from when I would have my false nails. Um, but, like, that pigment totally fell out. As you can see, a lot of it just kind of fell apart. But, nonetheless, I love these eyeshadows. They are such good pigment. It was 40 bucks. Glam light. Good. Um, I had bought that myself, but it was with, um, Christmas money last year, so it wasn't with my actual money that I had earned, and 
let me get, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Um, and now on the $10 range is the Pro Fusion Cosmetics Spectrum um, 10 Shade Pro Pigment Palette. Now, I am someone who loves to experience with colors. Um, yes, I like still the neutral shades and stuff like that, but I love to dip into colors, so that's why I ended up getting the Spectrum Palette, which is like all these pretty rainbow colors. And I had gotten this, I believe, at Target. Um, I will leave the link to the Pizza Palette and um, this palette down in the description box below. Um, but I think for this being 10 bucks in at Target, I, I'm not upset with it. I actually kind of enjoyed. Of course, sometimes I think you have to pack the color on a little more to get that, like, color vibrancy. But overall, I think it's a pretty decent palette for 10 bucks, And I wouldn't mind trying some of their other stuff. Um, I mainly, if you, I don't know if you guys can really tell, I have a little dip in green, um, which is Lucky. Um, I kind of dipped in Peacock uh marigold and i dipped in some of the other colors but those are the ones that i really see that i have like a dividend um so that's green blue and yellow i know i've been like in a weird stage where i like really like yellow um but okay so i will be doing this on my right side and be doing my pizza palette on my left side and i'm gonna be like using trying to use like the same kind of like idea like the same look um trying to use as much similar colors as i can um you know and we'll just see like the difference if there's really a major difference or not what you get from 40 dollars to what you get from like 10 dollars and yeah, I know this video is probably real long. I had that whole like intro of my weekend and stuff like that, but now we're into the actual video. So, um, stay tuned and yeah, my stuff, my makeup, you will learn, gets dirty so fast. Oh God, it gets dirty so fast. Okay, but we are going to jump in and I am going to start with my left side. So we're going to start with the pizza palette first. We're just going to dip right into pepperoni. And sometimes when it comes to this, if I'm doing three colors, I like to start out at the end. Um, and now, you guys, obviously, um, because I'm using a lot of eyeshadow, this is also why, um, because I like to make sure that my face has um, powder on it. Um, and I do that no matter what, whether I'm doing a lot of eyeshadow or, you know, whatever. Um, but because I am using a lot, that usually, no matter what, if a palette has fallout or not, it's just safe to have some stuff there. So this is what works for me. And because I am using a lot, and if I have fallout, well, you swipe it away after. So that's why it's a really good idea if you know that there's going to be fallout or that there could be. So, um, I'm going to start out, and God, I'm so sorry for my lips. They are so, like, raw and chapped and gross because I bite them. <laughs> so if they look bad, it's my fault. Okay, so we're going to get started. Outer. And then um, I'm probably going to speed up this process, uh, process as much as I can. So we just kind of get to the point and we can analyze $40 versus $10. let us get started. And also when you know like where you want it and you get it set on, um, after you get it where you want it and um, I usually definitely like dab 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 back in and I actually dab it on the eye to make it really stick so and I really didn't have any fallout and there's nothing there so that worked really good um and now I'm gonna go in with another brush and get some um I usually start with the outer and then I want to go in with see there's not names for this but it's like a little fluffy brush um there's a little color on it. I'm just gonna pretend there's no color on that um and then I'm going to dip into pineapple which is the inner I usually do the out inner and then the middle and so let's go in the inner okay so we have these three colors and I like to do the two outside colors before I do the middle usually just because I don't know I just kind of know how much space I'm really leaving because I think I like to have a really good amount in the inner just because it's the inner and sometimes if you do like dot 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 I don't know this is what works for me if you guys want to try it I think it's a good idea but yeah all right now we're gonna go in with hot sauce which is the orange shade for the middle section 
And now typically when I do this, I make sure I have a good enough on there and I kind of like just really gently get it in there and move back and forth so it kind of takes both like the red and the orange and it really blends them so you can still tell that there is an orange shade but it doesn't look like there's such like a harsh line because well that doesn't look very attractive unless you're going for that look then you do you okay and this is what it looks like so and then you kind of just keep going back in with other colors, make sure that they don't completely disappear. And sometimes I feel like I still have trouble um, with making sure that the orange really pops out with the red. Because sometimes I think sometimes they mix a little too harshly. I love doing colors. Oh, it excites me. Sometimes I get a little scared because sometimes colors can be a little dangerous. But if you play with it right and you really practice, then you just get better at it. Okay, so... Obviously, like, it's okay to be messy because if you're like me and you don't use tape, you use concealer. You go back in and you clean that shit up. Or, you use a shit ton of Q-tips, which is also my best friend for makeup. Okay, so now that we have just that main part done, we're gonna go in and, um, I'm not gonna finish the eye. Like, we'll do eyeshadow, eyeshadow, and then eyeliner and all that good stuff. Okay, so, let's go in with this palette. Why did that sound like it was so hard to open? Alright, so we're going to go back in with all the same brushes. Except what we're going to do is make sure that they are good and cleaned off so they don't have any um, pigment from like this. So we can really get, you know, like... Okay, brushes are good. Got them cleaned enough. I literally have a towel and I just like circled them. So yeah, it still has like red on it, but it's... There's nothing like coming off on it. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing that I did on this side and, or on this side to this side. So let's do that. Oh, and I also will say that this pan has a lot more kickback. I believe that that's the word. Um, like I just kind of like did that to my brush and it went everywhere with the yellow. So this has a lot more a lot more dust everywhere. But honestly, I think I actually like that with palettes because then you really know that there is pigment that is coming off onto the brush. Okay, and here we are. So as you can tell, obviously with the different palettes, um, this is a lot more of like a pink. Now, this looks a lot more like harsher and you can really tell. Um, this is a lot more subtle. Subtle, subtle subtle um color it's a little different because it's a lot more pink on this than it is red um this yellow is more um flat and not so like shiny which that's why i like the pineapple on this because it's really like you can see it um and then this kind of mixed in a lot with that it's probably my bad um i think you can see a little more orange here i think this looks a little more tropical to me and this looks a little more like not like it doesn't look tropical, but I think because it's a little more pink on the side, it looks a little more like, ooh, like I'm in the Bahamas. Though. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to do wing, wing, clean up what I need to, and then um, I'll just see with how it looks in the end. So let's do that. Anyway, so I just want to put like a little, not too close, because this stuff is pretty good. I'm um, kind of put two dots like that. Take my beauty blender that is still pretty wet. And dab, and you don't want to get like real like excited with it. You just want to take your time and try and carve out that bottom wing. Try and get the color in there, make sure it's good. And, um, blended both sides. My lips are so dry. I feel how chopped they are. Okay, so that's what the two sides look like. And sorry if the wings don't look exactly like good. I really tried rushing it. Yeah, see, I want to fill that in more. Actually, that's really going to annoy me. 
cannot forget dun, 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 to put on my Kush Milk, Milk Kush, whatever way, whatever one goes for. I think it's Milk Kush Mascara, Kush Milk Mascara. <laughs> um, either way, this little thing was 15 bucks. Yeah, it's inexpensive. But it's my favorite. I love it. You see here how my eyelashes got um, some mascara, or not my eyelashes, but my eyelashes, they flicked up so they got mascara on my lid. Do not touch it. Let it dry. And after, like, it's been a couple minutes, you want to go in with a dry Q-tip and literally when your mascara is dry on your lid, um, if it flicks up, take a dry Q-tip and lightly go over it and it just disappears. That easy. Usually... Um, because I don't have any black in this palette that I'm going to go in. I know I'm going to cheat a second. I'm going to just use, um, black olives from my pizza palette on both of my under eyes. I know. It was just the top that was really what was important. Um, so we're going to go in with... Is this the brush I'm going to use? This. This brush. Um, it's just a long, nice brush. And dip in right there to my black olives and just put it like on the waterline underneath a little bit and yeah ah oh, see I like jabbed myself <laughs> actually I think because I was using this for like other stuff I think the brush is actually kind of hard and it has like dried makeup on it yes it does that's why that poked me and hurt me so bad that means it's time to clean your brushes I see like up here you just and it's gone. It doesn't mess with the eyeshadow. I mean, yeah, so there's something on there, but it doesn't, like, mess with it. It just takes it off. And, yeah, so that is pretty much the finished look. That is the difference. Um, this one looks a little more tropical. This looks a little more darker, obviously, because this is more pink. And these are more, like, lighter, and this is more, like, a little bit of a darker side. But, yeah, so that is the difference between... Let me grab my palette, the $40 pizza palette, and the $10 spectrum palette. Um, they both turned out really good, so this is this side, and this mess ass palette is this side. I know my wings are probably different, it's okay. Um, yeah, this is usually like a full face that I would do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this video is a lot longer than I expected. But if you guys are still watching and you have listened to everything that I was saying, thanks. Um, but yeah, so I needed to get a video up for you guys. And I felt energized and able to do it. So here I am. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, please go down and hit that red subscribe button down below. Um, the two palettes that I used will be down in the description box below and yeah I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye